Have you heard about the new PR pathways here for working professionals in level 4 and 5? So if you don't have any idea at all about this new PR pathway, make sure that you watch this video until the end. Hi, my name is Coach MC and you are watching SLE Canada where we make a lot of videos for international students here in Canada. So if you're new to our channel, make sure that you are subscribed and also don't forget to like this video so that you will see a lot more videos about in Canada here on our channel. So IRCC will now be creating a new pathway only for working professionals in level 4 and 5. Every occupation in Canada is being categorized here in Canada. So they have different levels from 0, 1, 2, 3. So depending on what you're doing at your job. But in level 4 and 5, these people are usually helpers or working as a housekeeper or working as a waitress at a restaurant. This new PR pathway that IRCC will be creating will be a game changer for so many working professionals here because some of these jobs working in these industries are in level 4 and 5. And as you know, level 4 and 5, tier 4 and 5 are not actually eligible to apply in the express entry. Though these jobs are not categorized categorized as highly skilled but it does not mean that we don't need them because imagine a restaurant without the waitresses imagine a hotel without housekeepers imagine a construction business without construction laborers those people are still important or fundamental part of the business even if i wanted to retain my employees in our company or if i want to give them working for my company or to stay them here in canada but if they don't have available pr pathway for them to stay there's nothing else i can do right they have to find another job so that they can stay in Canada so I don't have a choice but to let them go so that's the main reason why IRCC or the government is doing this because this type of jobs have a high turnover rate so if you have available pathways for them to stay in the company or in the province or in the location that will be great for the employees and as well as the employees. So they said that this program will be similar to the Canadian Experience class. So they will be focusing on those folks that are working already in Canada, working for a Canadian company. So if you haven't watched my video here, I already shared my insight about the CEC or the Canadian Experience class. You can watch this so that you can get some insight, you can get some ideas how this program works and also you can prepare ahead what are the documents that you need to prepare we are hoping for this to happen by end of this year but as of today they don't have any shared information about the specifics of the program they haven't shared about you know is there a specific jobs is there a specific fields for this program or location we don't know yet but make sure that you subscribe in our channel and like this video so I can keep you posted but i have a feeling i have a hunch that this is going to be specific to the field because again they have to assess right not everyone will be able to apply for the permanent residency it really is going to depend on what kind of jobs they really need in every industry in canada but at the end of the day i still will recommend you to get a job that is part of zero, one, two, three. If you can get a higher level, that will be better, still better for you because you will have more pathways for you. As you know, I always recommend my viewers to have as many PR pathways as possible because you don't want to be relying on just one PR pathway. So it's just good to have a new one, but you don't want to just rely on just one PR pathway here in Canada. You're setting up yourself to a failure. So again, if you don't know what's your tier code, you don't know what's tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you want to target the specific tier code in Canada, we'll be able to help you. You can always reach out to us. Send us a direct message. I will leave the link in the description box.
Magalaw pa yun sa'yo? <laughs> so, we live here in a small town with just 10,000 population. And this is like the tri port here in the North Island, overall 10,000. And most jobs here are in level 4 and 5. And just like what I talked about earlier, that I feel like the new PR pathway will really help the small towns like, like this. The big industries in our town here is like fishery, as you can see. <laughs> and also they have manufacturing as well, construction, trades. And again, I'm so glad that if there will be a pathway that will help employers to retain their workers here, you know, if they wanted to stay in a small town, then that will give an opportunity to basically get their permanent residency here without moving somewhere else. Diba? I'm excited. When we were in Dubai, we can only like afford the head of the salmon. It was just so expensive. I'm just glad that here in Canada I'm able to experience this. That even though I cannot afford to buy that in a superstore, that one is expensive here if you buy it in a in a retail store. Mm. But I'm just glad that I'm able to do that here to access that here. We're very near the ocean and then most people here they also like plant their own food which I can also do that like we have like a big place here where we can do gardening as well and most people that I've met here in this town they don't move here to earn so much money to become a millionaire you know they move here because they like the lifestyle they move here because it's quiet they move here because they want to have a, a simple life a quiet life and I hope you guys have the same goal too if you're moving to Canada it should not just about money and I'm always preaching that in our channel Felix and I we always share our thoughts on that if you're moving to a new place it should be something that you like something that you really dream of kasi mahirap din talagang magsimula sa isang bansa na hindi mo naman talaga gusto tumira doon diba? so if you're moving here to Canada you cannot become a millionaire overnight or you don't have to be a millionaire you can just have a simple life just like what we, ha we are having right now and we're so happy we're so contented so we're not just showing you the usual path that most immigrants are pursuing here we're showing you the other side the alternative one ano man tawag nila parang may tawag sila eh, sa ganito yung um unconventional yun unconventional lifestyle and that's what i wanted to show you guys here in canada as well